Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors and welcome to the fifth instalment of the Two Minute Tuesday series. Now this subject was brought to us by Jake Richard and his question basically is how to begin to pair snakes. Now first and foremost before I begin, you have to bear in mind I'm in the United Kingdom, so America and different parts of the world, you may do things a little bit differently. But here in the UK, this is how I go ahead and pair my snakes. So let's begin. So in the more earlier years of breeding ball pythons, I simply took the male out and placed them in with the female on the 1st of November. It worked just fine for the most part, but now I like to do things a little bit differently, so this is how I do it. Come October, I just wait for a good old downpour. Uh, I wait for the first real, like, real good quality storm as it is. And I then go ahead and place the male in with the female. You never place the female in with a male, uh, always the male in with the female. If the enclosure has good humidity like this enclosure, I don't go and spray them down. If the enclosure is slightly drier, like this enclosure, I go ahead and spray the front of the enclosure down, then place the male in straight after. That's just to build a bit more humidity because these snakes breed in the wet season and that's when the humidity is highest. So I try and manipulate the wet season in Africa. Now I do not go ahead and cool any of the hotspots down. I'm highly against it in our country. I think it's a recipe for a disaster. And I genuinely know many breeders that's run into trouble by doing this. What I do is I open the windows on the first lock. So the, the windows are still locked, but they're open on that first lock. Because I've got three windows, an air vent and a door, I can, between all three windows, the air vent and the door, I can really cool this room down a few degrees. If, it, if I'm cooling it down too fast, I can go ahead and, and change whichever uh, one of them five and, and make it sit just a couple of degrees lower. So I drop the room temperature to about 78, 79 Fahrenheit and that's it. That's all I need, just that slight drop. It really does trigger it. So the room typically runs at 82 Fahrenheit and the hot spots between 90 and 95. Them hot spots remain 90 to 95, but I do drop the room down to 78 stroke 79 Fahrenheit. That's basically it. It is really that simple. If you want to know a more advanced approach and get kind of into the nitty gritties of it, just check out my How to Breed Ball Pythons Correctly video that's in my YouTube catalogue. But just to recap, if the, hu if the humidity in the enclosure is good, I just simply take the male out when it's raining, I place them in with the female. If the humidity is low, I spray the front of the enclosure, typically not where the snakes lay, the front of the enclosure, and then place the male in around the centre. I check them after my evening meal, and typically that's when they'll be caught in, but no copulation will have occurred. Then I check them in the morning after my morning coffee, see my children, uh, watch a bit of YouTube or TV. I come up to Urban Constrictors, check them, and that's typically when you'll see them locked. The male's tail will go underneath the female, the female will overlap and they'll be slightly raised up. Uh, if they're in line or sidewards, I don't typically uh, record that as a lock. I wait till then, there's a crossover, a very good visual crossover. And when you open the enclosure to look, you don't have to be a samurai ninja. You can open it nice smoothly, take a look, take some photographs, and then go ahead and close her up. You don't have to be super, super stealth when you look. Just bear that in mind. And then that's basically it. The windows stay on that first lock or completely closed. And then I just keep pairing once a month until I witness an ovulation from the female. An ovulation is when you'll see her looking like she's just had a huge meal about two thirds of the way down. And then that's when that female needs no more uh, pairings. You are then at that point guaranteed to get slugs or eggs or a mixture of the two. So if I've missed anything out, please ask away. But if you want a more advanced approach talking about time scales and things like that, just check out how to breed ball pythons correctly. And I hope that'll answer your more advanced questions. If there, if it is very easy to breed these snakes, so don't be too worried. Just make sure you have everything ready for them hatchlings once they come. So if you'd like to be featured on Two Minute Tuesday, just drop a question in the question box below. And if I think it's one I can kind of cram into two to five minutes, I'll hopefully feature on another video. 
And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it two thumbs down. If you haven't, haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell button to make sure you're notified of all future uploads. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers.